Are you confused about what sort of adhesives to use for your bird bath outdoor projects? And what is a concrete and what is a thin set? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you more with this and this and make it really simple. It's really confusing to know what type of adhesive to use for outdoor features. There are so many on the market and they're really pretty, pretty good. But I'm going to show you one that is easily obtainable. I get it from Bunnings and the reason I use it is that it's really easy to get. It is glass, it is a liquid. <laughs> So it's not a water mixture. This is a liquid. So it comes in a liquid form and then you add it to the color grout that you want to use. It's really simple. So it's a Dabco glass mosaic adhesive with, and I'm going to use it with Dabco black grout. So it means that on my gazing ball, I don't have to go back in and actually grout it. I'm actually going to make a concrete thin set that I'm going to embed my tiles into and I then don't have to go back into it. But the advantage is it's going to be waterproof. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to mix it up and how to apply it. The tools that you're going to need for your project today are the Dabco, it is the glass mosaic adhesive in the liquid form. You're going to need a grout. Now I'm using black grout, you can use white grout. You can also use white grout with an oxide. So it is a grout. You don't have to use Dabco. I've used other grouts and they work just as well. But Dabco recommend for their glass mosaic adhesive to use Dabco grout. If you're unsure and you want to do it absolutely right, use the Dabco grout. The other thing you'll need is a container for mixing, gloves to help keep your hands clean, a knife for mixing up. Now, I also use a palette knife for applying my, mose, uh, my glass adhesive, but you don't have to use a palette knife. You can still use your knife and that will work really well. Also, you do need to have a good quality dust mask. That is because you're going to be working with grout when we mix it up and we don't want to inhale that dust. The other thing I've got beside here is I've got a bucket of water. I've actually got two buckets of water. One for my first rinse and then I've got another one behind here for my second rinse and that's to help keep everything clean. So if I make a spill, I can actually wipe it up really, really quickly. And I've also got a sponge. I've actually got two sponges, one for my dirty, one for my clean, and then a towel. So stay tuned. If you've got everything, we can get started. With this project, it's really interesting. This says it's a glass mosaic adhesive, but it works really, really well on my tile. So with porous surfaces, it is absolutely brilliant. Now you can also use it on your hardy board. If you're in America, you can use it on hardy board, or as we call it in Australia, cement sheeting. I also use it on my pal tire. So this is actually a pal tire piece. So I can use it on my pal tire. And with my pal tire, I actually don't even need to prepare it. That is to put on a base cause to protect the pal tire. Pal tire is an all weather medium. So unlike concrete that will absorb water and deteriorate with time, pal tire doesn't. And the other reason you want to prepare your concrete is that it is if it is absorbing water and you have a condition where you're getting salt in there, your concrete is actually going to deteriorate with time. So that's why you do need to seal it. With my terracotta, I don't seal it either. I find that it works really well here in Australian conditions. If you are overseas with a freeze thaw, you are going to need to seal your terracotta and you're going to need to seal um, your concrete. So have a look. Uh, Dabco do sell a sealant that goes with this product. There are other sealants on the market and you can use those. But generally speaking, if you're using a product, tend to use all the other things that go with it. Anyway, that's just a disclaimer. So letting you know that um, I am not pre-sealing anything here because in Melbourne, I find this works really, really well and I haven't had any issues so far. 
this is this says a glass mosaic adhesive it works really well with ceramic tiles they don't have to be the high fired porcelain tiles they can also be the earthenware tiles but just be aware that when you use something that's quite porous the moisture is going to suck up very quickly from this medium the concrete adhesive that you're about to mix so you might want to make it a little bit wetter if you have sealed your piece then you can make it a little bit drier to start before you actually when you can make your medium your concrete when you're mixing it up a little bit drier i'm going to make it on the wetter side because the pieces that i'm using are quite porous so let's go I'm going to be using grout. Now grout, when I put it into my container, I might create a little bit of dust. So what I am going to do is I am going to wear my dust mask just to make sure that I actually don't inhale any of it. Okay, the mask is on and now I'm going to get my black grout and put it into here. Now, I've got a big spoon, it's dry, that I'm going to be using just to put it in there. I'm going to not, I'm also not going to make a lot because I'm going to be tiling quite slowly and I don't want this to dry out. So here we go. Before you use this, give it a shake and mix it up. And also, when you're using this, sometimes the lid can stick. So I'll show you how to avoid that. So I'm going to be using one tablespoon of this. And I'm going to mix it up with my knife. I've made this up now. It is quite a sticky mixture and it's holding beautifully. So you can see it's actually sticking to the knife really, really well. I can add a few extra drops just to make sure that it's not going to dry out too much when I apply it to this piece here because this is quite porous and if I don't have my concrete adhesive a little bit wetter, by the time I start tiling, it might dry out a bit. So I'm just going to add a few more drops and I'm not going to pour it straight from the container. I'm just going to add a little bit to my spoon and then just apply a few drops. If you actually pour it straight from the container, the chances are you're going to pour too much in. It is a lot easier to just do it this way and then give it a mix. Now, I've got my gloves here. I work very cleanly. I've got my buckets of water and my sponge ready to go. I find that actually when I wear gloves, what happens is that I don't realize I've actually got dirty hands and I end up making a bigger mess than what I realize. So I actually work very cleanly. I don't need gloves. But if you guys out there, if one of you works really, really dirty, wear your gloves, you might find it easier. Now, it was just sitting there and it was actually a little bit stiff. This should sit for around about five minutes before you start using. And now I've got, it's starting to just give a little bit more movement. There you go, it's got a little bit more movement. Now I've got a little bit on my hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up now. So I've got my sponge, I'm just going to wipe my table. Also, I'm going to put my spoon into the bucket of water. So having a bucket beside you means that you can clean as you go. Now, that spoon is going to go into my second bucket of water and that's for the final rinse. Now, the other thing I didn't do was I didn't put the lid on. There was a good reason for that. If I put the lid on while it is wet, it's got a lot of glue around it. And when I try to open this again next time, that glue will have dried around the plastic and it's really hard to get open. Now, 
Now I can safely put this on and I know that it's going to be easy as peasy next time I want to open it. The thing I love about this glass mosaic adhesive is that it's quite sticky. It will hold the pieces vertically. They will slump a little bit if they're big and heavy, but I'm only using small tiles. They're not overly wet, so they should sit on this without any problems slumping. But I do start from the bottom and I go up as I am working. Now, I've also, as you can see here, I've actually done a really thin coat of this adhesive and that is just to prepare it so it stops absorbing too much too quickly and to do that I'm just going to show you now this has been sitting for a little bit in the open air and it just stiffened up a little bit so I'm just going to give it another mix and that's ready to go now what I can do is just apply this and press it firmly if you don't press it firmly, what can happen is that it doesn't actually stick to the adhesive, um, to your substrate really, really well. So I'm just really squashing that down to make sure that that is stuck. Some people like to use a lunch bag and they squeeze it into the lunch bag. That works really well on your pieces, on your tiles, because you're actually going to then jiggle them on. But if you're working straight onto your piece here, what you do need to do is make sure that you press this adhesive down so it is actually stuck. And that is how you put a thin coat on. We're about ready to start. The other thing I want to show you is that I've got these compound nippers. These compound nippers are the ones that I use. I actually have a thumb issue at the moment. So these make cutting tiles really, really easy. They are by MD. So there is the brand there. And they are fantastic to use. They make cutting these ceramic tiles and these Johnson tiles that are porcelain really, really easy to cut. Now I'm going to do some tiles here and I'm going to lay some tiles down. Now this is dry, so now I'm ready to apply my adhesive on. And I'm applying it quite thickly. So this is going to be a bed of around about three millimeters. These tires are five millimeters and it means when I just give them a bit of a jiggle and I press them down about a millimeter, this concrete is going to go up around the sides of these tiles. Now black is not really easy to see what I'm doing, but I'm just laying some tiles, um, just laying that adhesive down on there. And it's going up on the sides slightly. So as I said, it's a bed of around about three mil thick. And three mil thick is really important. So when you lay your tiles down, it doesn't. What I do like to do is have trays of tiles ready to go. Now I'm going to put a smallish one here. So this is the tile, a bit of a jiggle and place it down. And that's stuck in. I'm going to put this taller one here. And I'm going to give that a little bit of a jiggle and place it in. And that's stuck. So now I'm going to do another tile through here. And if you have a close look, that adhesive is working its way up. And as I said, it's really nice having your tiles ready to go. And making sure my fingers are clean. 
Now I need to put a little bit more adhesive on. This adhesive is still a little bit on the dry side because it's actually quite warm today. I'm wearing a t-shirt. So I could have made it a little bit wetter again. It's firming up quite quickly. find it really, really hard to do it this way, that's okay. You can actually put the adhesive on the back of your tile and then tile, and I'll show you that in a minute, but I'm just going to do a little bit more here. tile's too wide so I'm going to give it a little bit of a nip. Now the other thing that you want to do, if you want to work with it lying down, if I want to work it on a vertical surface like that, I can actually put it on something soft. I need something soft so I don't damage these flowers. They're quite fragile. Well, they're not overly fragile, but this pot is actually quite heavy now with all the tiles on it. So if I lay it down on a hard surface, the chances are I might crack a tile. So what I am going to do is get a pillow, lay it on, and then you can watch me work on a flat surface when it's horizontal. This is a pillow that I use. <laughs> I'm going to put it in plastic. And that way, if I get any glue on it, it's not going to stick to my pillow. It's just going to stick to the plastic bag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the other method, which is putting the adhesive onto the tile and then placing it down. So here we go. just got a little bit of glue on my fingers. Also, I noticed this came up a little bit high, so I've just wiped it off with my sponge that was sitting there. And what I'm doing is placing the tile over the top, just marking it, getting my nipper, cutting, sponge nearby. Lay that down. Now the other thing too is the texture marks, they will come off later so that is not a problem at all. Now these are all even and it means I can put on another one of these flowers if I want to. So these are my handmade ceramic flowers. They're not glazed on the bottom so they're porous. They're easily going to stick in there. And I've got my glazed leaves. So they're glazed both sides which means that they, you don't see the underneath any of the white. So I can now, what I do with these, I do lay a lot of glue on here. It makes it easier to apply. So I'm just applying this on. I'm going to apply just a little bit more on the back of this tile. So I've got a lot of adhesive for that to grip. And this is almost like a glass, a piece of glass. Remember, this is glass mosaic adhesive, and that is going to sit nicely through there. This one will sit nicely in there. 
So, pop some more adhesive on the back of this. And notice how it actually sits up. Then I can apply a little bit more adhesive, press it down firm, take the excess away. that's sitting really nicely in there. Wipe like this back, keep that relatively clean. I don't like getting this too much. It will come off um, if you get to it quick enough so you can't leave it there for too long. Now, I've just about run out of adhesive, so this is a really good time to take a break, move away, and I can come back to this with fresh eyes. <laughs> that is the Davco Glass Mosaic Adhesive. As I said, it's not the best product on the market. I don't want to say it's the best product on the market, but it's a really good product. It does the job for you. It's water immersible, which means it can go outside in the garden. It can go into your bird baths. And when you're using your Dabco grout, you don't even have to color it up. So there you go. It's so easy to use. It's really easy to mix up. It's easy to clean and it's really serviceable. It's easy to buy for all of you in Australia. It's readily available at Bunnings. And no, I am not doing an advertisement for Bunnings. I'm just saying when you need to buy an adhesive and you're not too sure, this is a really good alternative. Now, you do might need to go back in and grout it after you've done your mosaicing, but that's okay. Okay, I don't always go back in and grout. This one hasn't been grouted back. And I'm really happy with the way it looks. <laughs> I'm Cheryl Han Woodlock and this is Alfred. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today and we'll say goodbye for now. Bye. <laughs> you beautiful boy, yes. <laughs> Just before I finish, I need to make sure that you remember on here, to clean up these extra areas where the grout, the adhesive that we've done has oozed out. So this is where you get your knife and just trim off that excess. If you don't trim off that excess, what's going to happen is it's going to go rock hard and you can't get your tile next to it. So it's going to be really, really hard to keep mosaicing and get it all nice and neat. So remember, trim it up. And I'm Cheryl from Handmade Studio saying bye.